Well, as atheism is unstoppable for and live life, what is it, 8027, 49152, 32768, 64738, 4096, whatever it is, um, let's see if anyone has any idea what some of those numbers I mentioned were a reference to. Anyway, um, they may be right about the statistics in regards to uh, black crime. But that's only half of the information. And I don't know why I, for a period of time, just threw away some of the stuff I'd already known. I've had a number of black friends who have told me how they have been harassed by the police. I've read way too many stories about people being pulled over for being black. They're driving the speed limit, they're on the freeway, they're following all, the, all of the rules, they're following all the traffic laws, but they get pulled over. And when the police can't immediately find something to give them a real ticket for, they'll give them a ticket for something bogus, like, you know, a dim license plate light. You don't go following someone for a while and pulling them over for a dim license plate light. Sorry. I can recall when I had been pulled over quite a lot, when I used to get profiled as being a hippie because I had long hair, and when you have hair as curly as mine, and you grow it out long, you just automatically fit this stereotype of a hippie. And I got pulled over a lot. And I was given bogus tickets over and over again that I had to take to court and have them thrown out of court. They're like, this is a joke. But it kept happening to me. And then as soon as I cut my hair, what do you know? I didn't get pulled over anymore. Well, black people can't just, I mean, should they put on white face? in order to not get pulled over, you know. So, that shit happens. Black people are harassed just for being black. At the same time, the other stuff that I've talked about in some of my past videos are true as well. But I imagine some of it comes from when you're constantly treated like you're a criminal you're eventually not going to care that much whether or not you do things that are criminal. I mean, if you're going to get treated that way constantly, why not actually do something with that status you seem to have that you can't get rid of just because of the color of your skin? So, that's not to excuse that behavior, and that behavior should be addressed. Cultural uh, identities should be addressed. People shouldn't take pride in a cultural heritage that, sorry, has thug-like uh, things in it. <laughs> things is not the word I wanted to use, but my vocabulary isn't that great right now, and I don't feel like redoing the video just because of one word. So, so yes, atheism is unstoppable and live life they are correct in the statistics that they quote, that they draw from, that they talk about. But that doesn't mean that there aren't other factors that go into it. So, even if, overnight, uh, there wasn't that culture, that sort of puts up on a pedestal a thug mentality, even if that just completely disappeared overnight, police would still be treating black people as criminals. You know, profiling could be okay if they're specifically looking for someone who matches a particular visual description. 
But it's not okay when there's no one particular that they're looking for. No one in particular that they're looking for. And they're just going to harass people based off of matching a profile that statistically commits more crimes. That's, that's not cool. And that's what's happening quite a bit. That needs to be addressed. A lot of things need to be addressed. We're not going to take care of this problem by just addressing one side of things.